here is an unusual case of complete duplex system with lower moiety obstruction that too at the mid ureter. Actually this patient was evaluated outside 18 months old male baby with history of recurrent UTI from 6 months of age. They have come with MCUG and CT to us. The MCUG is normal, no reflux. Normal bladder post void residual urine normal. And uh, the CT has shown right-sided hydroureteronephrosis. Reconstructed image shows hydroureteronephrosis up to mid ureter. The nuclear scan has shown hydronephrosis. We have done initially cystoscopy to do the RGP. When we have done cystoscopy, two ureters were seen. So we confirmed the duplex system. In fact, CT we were suspecting but not confirmed. Now, when the lower ureter was not obstructed, no ureterosyl, ureteric catheter has gone freely and RGP has shown normal ureter with normal kidney. And the, the lateral which is not refluxing, mid ureteric obstruction RGP but uh, distal ureter is normal on RGP. Then we planned for laparoscopy. We thought uh, these two ureters will be united. So directly we have gone to the obstructed ureter of the lower moiety which is clearly seen. So in fact uh, both ureters uh, to identify in the lower upper moiety we have kept a guide wire that made the upper moiety ureter stiff but they were together. Even though I dissected so close to the lower moiety dilated system, they were close together. So I lifted first uh, the, uh, these are the iliac vessels level. I lifted both ureters. Uh, then I could see this, uh, the upper moiety ureter with guide wire as stiff. In between these two, without using the cartery, we made a small window. That window is extended only 3 centimeters below the obstructed ureter. When we have seen, it looked like PUG obstruction than ureteric obstruction. Whether it is ureteric obstruction or low lying PUG, we have made decision to do end to end anastomosis with the same ureter instead of doing anything with the other ureter. This was completely obstructed, the lumen was uh, very narrow. So we have used a small scissor to incise and spatulate. So exactly like pyeloplasty we have done. Even now we may not be sure whether it is low lying PUG obstruction. Because the lower moiety reflux is more common than obstruction. So we have done uh, the end to end like pyeloplasty with uh, wide spatulation of the lower ureter. On RGP we are sure that the lower ureter is normal. The ureteric uh, mucosa is taken less in the distal part so that luminal obstruction will not come. Otherwise this procedure uh, is same like pyeloplasty. Only thing is we have not mobilized too much of the both the ureters we have mobilized only 3 cm where the obstruction is present. In fact during the entire surgery the upper moiety ureter was attached to closely to this uh, suturing. Now this is the so called posterior layer. The stenting was tricky because it's at the mid ureter level. We have identified 2 and 3 junction. Distally there is no problem. Proximally without guide wire with 1 mm, 1 mm holding of the uh, with both Maryland's it has gone easily and later on confirmed with CM also. Now apical bite is taken like in pyeloplasty. This we have used 4-0 Vicryl. The anterior layer interrupted one or two are taken at the apex after that continuous suturing was done 
at the end of the anastomosis the ureter is collapsed and was draining without leak the reason of sharing this video is uh, uh, so much both ureters were reunited and uh, lower moiety obstruction is not common that to at the uh, mid ureter level even though technically it is same pre operative work up especially rgp and then plan helped us in fact uh, the ureteric catheter has gone easily through this obstruction that time we suspected little puj it was not like a classical stricture the lower moiety ureteric catheter has easily gone so that time only when rgp is done we suspected puj and then uh, the peritoneum is also closed you can observe the peritoneal defect is also hardly 3 cm so that the section area we have limited in fact intestine everything was there not much uh, mobilized and the drain is kept post operatively patient did well and uh, these are the three stitches the complete bifid system lower moiety reflex upper moiety obstruction is rule but here uh, it is totally different case that's why we shared this video thank you